So, um, Bas, tell me what you're doing here. Here at Epic, I'm mainly here to see how other people work, actually, and to talk about how I work uh, with them. As a fan. I think it's a great community of people. Um, because most people work in industry, but still have this kind of academic reflection uh, on their work at the same time. So it's kind of in-between space, and I think I'm in that space myself uh, with my work. It's also where I want to be. So it's great to see there's other people there as well, and to share reflections on what you do actually. Uh, my company, Standby, we do what we say in short, social research for design and innovation. So this means that we take inspiration and, and information from how people live their everyday lives, their practices, and then feed that into processes in companies to innovate their services. So this means we don't only go into the fields as they say, as anthropologists. We also bring in the people from the company to show how their customers live. You take them into people's homes? Yeah, we do. Or we go out into the streets with them. Or we into where people work. For instance, recently we did research on how academics collaborate with each other, how they write a paper together, for instance. So we bring um, people, in this case, from a large academic publisher into the workspaces of academics. It's very good for them to be there because they see, for instance, what kind of computers they have or kind of strange rooms with just piles of stuff on the table, not organized at all, but still how they live, their work lives. And do you give the clients who go in home, as it were, who go yeah. in situ, do you give them any kind of thinking tools or any a framework within which to think about what they're seeing, or do you just say, look? No, we don't give them a framework so much because uh, we don't want them to kind of enter with a specific perspective. But we do talk with them about how we approach such a situation and um, how we behave ourselves in such a situation. So listening is very important and how you do that. But at the same time that we want to have a conversation with these people and not just suck up everything they do as a, as a sponge. So it's important to talk with them what kind of, about what kind of situation that is and how they can prepare that for that themselves. And then what do you do after you've taken them in situ? What happens then? What's the process? Then we kind of make a first step ourselves as, as researchers and then analy analyzing um, the stuff that came out of those visits. And what, what comes out of them? I mean, what's the tag? Do, you, do, do they write notes or do you...? Normally we use um, several tools. One tool we like a lot is to just put big paper sheets on a table and to draw, in this case for the academic to draw processes of collaboration, and draw diagrams of people they collaborate with. We also use uh, things as sticky notes for this process because stories are never told in a linear, linear way. So people sometimes first talk about the middle and then the beginning, and so you need to be able to shift around a bit. So we use those diagrams to analyze between visits what kind of patterns come up. But we do this only halfway ourselves as researchers actually because we think it's quite important that um, our clients who want to develop these new ideas participate in, in this creating the insights because then they own them much more. So we make kind of frameworks after visiting these locations that we bring into a workshop with our clients and then we start to fill the framework. We, and to look where are the gaps here in this, this map that we've created, what do people do and where are the opportunities to fill those gaps for you as a company. Uh, what's the important, why, why should they own those insights? Why, why is that important for them to that's, own them? That's important because they have to become champions of those insights and then the ideas that are uh, inspired by that in their own company. So they need to convince other people again in their own company that this is a good idea that they should follow up on and make a business plan or something like that. And have you met any other people who do similar kinds of things to you here, similar sort of approaches? Yeah, I, I 
think there's quite a few people, although I see almost kind of a split between people being here. Some people are um, really in this kind of same line of work and thinking. For instance, several people uh, I studied with at the RCA also do this kind of research uh, in people's homes and so on to develop ideas. So that's the purpose. Uh, and they have similar processes. Whereas other people I see here are not going as far into, uh, into developing these ideas. So they create the insights. And then it's a bit more unclear how that travels, these insights inside the company and what's done with it. So I, I feel less connected uh, to them. For instance, yesterday in the first session of uh, presentations, I found it a bit disappointing that nobody really talked about what the insights that they presented, uh, what was done with those in the companies or the organizations uh, that were their clients. Yes.